Right, so we can use the Galoxia method here for our two digit by a two digit number, and that's why I've got a uh, two by two grid. So you can see how I've written out my 84 here, eight of that box, four above this box, and going down here, then we've got two and three. So we're going to fill in each box, right? It doesn't matter where we start, maybe we'll start this box here, um, four above it, two to the right. So four times two is eight. Remember, you put the units here, you put the tens here. If there's no tens in there, because the answer was eight, so you can put zero there, zero tens. Down here, um, you've got three to the right, and you've got four above it. So four times three is 12, so two units, one ten. This box up here, eight above, two to the right, so eight times two is 16. So six units, one ten. And then this final box, um, eight above, three to the right, eight times three is 24. So four units, two tens. Now, when we add these then, right, when we, when, when we look for our final answer, we need to go along the diagonals, but make sure you always start at the bottom. It really is important. So you start here and you've got two along here, haven't you? Okay, and then you've got eight, one, and four. You've got three entries here. And if I add these, eight and one is nine, plus four is uh, 13, right? Now, I'm not gonna write 13 here, okay? I'm not allowed to do that. I can only write a single digit. So what I do, just like with normal adding, this comes to 13. I'm going to write a 3 here, but I'm going to carry 1 then into the next diagonal. Okay, so I'll maybe write it there. Okay, this is so important. You're going to put a single digit here, and it adds to 13. So we, so we write 3 and we carry that, that 10 then into that next diagonal. When I add along here then, these, these entries here, 0, 6, and 2, well, of course, that adds up to 8, doesn't it? But then I've got to remember I need to add this 1 as well. So I get, actually, I get 9 here, don't I? Okay, nine. And then my final diagonal, well, I've just got one there. So my answer then, one, nine, three, two. Okay, 1,932. Now I can check by estimating, okay? Um, so 84, well, that's close to 80. Let's make it simple, right? So we can do this in our heads. Um, 23, of course, 23 is close to 20. Now when I work that out in my head, I would do eight times two, right? In my head, I'm doing eight times two, which is 16. And of course, then you've got two zeros here, so 1,600. And yeah, you know, it's pretty close to this. I know it's a little bit far away, but of course, you know, remember now I am estimating, okay, I've gone from 84 to 80, 23 to 20. That's why it's not the same, but they're not far away, aren't they? So you can be fairly confident that this is our correct answer.